the road waiting for Silk Song can be long and tiring, but it doesn't have to be. If you're a fan of Metroidvanias, indie games, or both, you're in luck because there are actually other great indie Metroidvanias on the horizon. Today, I'd like to make a special shout out to a little Kickstarter germ called Lone Fungus. Made by solo developer Basti, Lone Fungus is a Metroidvania set in an ancient mushroom world and wears its inspirations of various Metroidvanias, Hollow Knight especially, proudly on its sleeve. A cheap ripoff this is not. After having played the free demo available on Itchy on Game Jolt, it becomes quite clear that Lone Fungus is entirely a labor of love from Basti, and reminds me in many ways of Cave Story's Daisuke Pixel Amaya, the man I consider the grandfather of modern indie games. The game features a spud by the name of Green Cap, who jumps, slashes, pogos, and uses various spells by changing its cap. While the demo features two bosses and seven relics within a single area, the alpha for the game, available to certain backer levels, contains 6 areas, 13 bosses, 13 spells, 59 relics, and 15 abilities. The game is roughly half finished, but Basti hopes to release the final game with 13 areas total, while breaking past 60 relics and 15 abilities. The demo itself plays akin to a love child between Hollow Knight and Celeste, a very platforming based metroidvania that really uses the nail pogo and dash abilities to their full potential. And let me tell you, that is a match made in heaven. While the demo is still admittedly rough around the edges, the proof of concept is beyond promising, and the bonus platforming challenges available at the end of the demo, which unlocks the dash, really shows what Bastia's gameplay loop is capable of. At the end of the day though, ideas can be all well and good, but without a dedicated developer, these sorts of Kickstarter games can easily die. And that is, maybe most of all, where Lone Fungus grabbed me. Basti was first struck with inspiration in 2019, and began working on this passion project. Since then, Basti and his partner have been reducing their living costs to keep the dream alive. The funds provided by the Kickstarter campaign are aimed to fund development time for another year for the full game to be released. And hey, I can't speak to too much direct experience with Basti yet, but from the interactions I've had and seen on the Lone Fungus Discord, I see a developer that is truly dedicated to their craft. As an inspiring dev myself and someone who is friends with folks pursuing that line of work, I can see the love that Basti is putting into the project and have an incredible amount of respect for that. Not that it takes an indie dev mindset to recognize that. Go check out the demo, I think you'll see Basti's feelings for the project yourself. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter for Lone Fungus is almost over, so I'm rushing to get this video out as fast as I can. With only three days to go at the time of recording, there's only a little bit of time left to support this project, but I honestly think it's going to be worth it. I'm not being paid or reimbursed in any way for this video. This is really just a project I believe in and I think deserves to be completed. So if you're looking for another great indie metroidvania, I really recommend checking out the Kickstarter link below, playing the demo, and coming to your own conclusions. I won't chill myself too hard today, but if you like what you see, I hope to continue playing through the game's alpha soon, so consider subscribing, following me on Twitch, and joining my Discord if you'd like to stay up to date with my experiences with the game. I've been Technovoid, and I will see you guys in the next one.